welcome to our local non-league and joining me tonight uh, is George, the assistant manager at FC Romania. And George, uh, good weekend. Yeah, thank God, I think, you know, <laughs> this consistency is not happening at the moment. Yeah. But a good, you know, you know, wantage, going to wantage and, and, you know, and winning by, you know, five goals to three is a, is a great result. Yeah, I mean, um, to be fair, um, they, they they did pretty well uh, on because it's quite a difficult pitch when it's um, wet and uh, nice ground. Everything's you know the facilities, the people there are really really nice, and they made us feel welcome straight away. The management were nice, but that pitch is so heavy, and obviously the style of play uh, that we tend to try and play it's it's quite difficult to play on that surface. So um, there will be there would have been mistakes in the game which we knew. Um, and uh, they scored first, to be fair. So that gave us the, the you know, bit of the kick up the bump backside. Um, but yeah, it was a good game. I think they played pretty well, cons uh, considering uh, their bottom, their bottom two team. I mean, I've seen them play twice now. We've seen them play twice, and the last one was against Coney Heath, and they have done really well, like counter counter attacking team. Uh, but at home, they really try to push. Push their forwards. I tried for different formations. The two halves, which was interesting to see for a for a team down the bottom, where they tried to play three at the back at the beginning, and then second half four three three. But you know we overcome that. I mean our attacking emphasis was really quite good. To be fair, we had quite a few shots, about sixteen to eighteen shots in the game, uh, which was good really. I mean, and then, of course you got that game there. I mean the, the game before, which we were speaking about when we spoke last. Yeah. Was the AFC Dunstable game? You, you know, you lost two two one, but from the bits that I read about it, he was unlucky to for that for, for that to be the result. Uh, again, um, can't attack. Uh, they had two shots, two goals, but literally two shots. I mean, the manager uh, said to me after the game, um, uh, "I don't know how we won that." Basically, do you know what I mean? Uh, um, we just they just hit us on the break, and I think um, the more and more games we play, and the more and more. We understand this league, which we're slowly doing. We, you know, we have to start dealing with these. Uh, we can't just be a, an attacking side. We've got to think about the whole um, focus on defending and attacking. And I think uh, when we fall asleep in stages, we get punished. So it's not like the lower leagues where we used to play in step five, etc., where you could get away with it. So we're slowly learning that, and you know, every game. Uh, the team's bonding together. As I said, it's, it's a new side. It's only been uh, going this season. That's 13 games uh, plus the pre-season game. So I think, you know, we're slowly getting there. Mm. Of course, next uh, next couple of games, though, real testers. I mean, you've got the man I'm going to talk to next in, of course, Mr Paul Halsey tomorrow night. And then uh, yeah. and then you've got a home game, you know, against St Neitz yeah, um, on yeah. Saturday. So it's, it's a two sort of tough games coming up. I think the next nine days we got, um, which is great, by the way, because I love I love the games, home and away. Uh, we got four games in like nine days, so um, the squad's going to be tested. As I said, we've got not a massive squad. We've got a, a squad of 20-odd players <laughs> maximum with two goalkeepers, so about 18 players. So they're going to be used accordingly to what, you know, what we've been doing. Suit, that suits the match, the, the reports that we get, uh, the games that we go and see. So um, where it's just it's a derby, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not one of those games where tactically we're we're going to be better than them or vice versa. I think it's just going to be um, a war, uh, and the best team win, like we did. I think the last game where you know we try to play football, but you know they're they're very good at counter attacking and putting pressure on us in key areas. So it'll be a great for me. That's a great game and. Uh, you know, and Hartford as well on the 24th at home. That'll be another uh, tester where they started to uh, really do really well. Yeah, so yeah. So in the St. Neer, it's uh, the home game as well. So we've got two home, one one away and two home. So, you know, we need to win those games to be up there in a playoff position. And I think uh, the wear game on um, Tuesday night, tomorrow night is a six-pointer for us, you know, because we're a game in hand over them. If we win, we're, you know, we go above them if, if, if they slip, you know, eventually. Mm. And of course, that's on 3G tomorrow night. I mean, how, how do you prepare differently to, you know, to play on 3G? Well, we train twice a week on the 3G. We train oh, once at, yeah. at Cheson anyway. So 
that's when we train it's like gameplay anyway uh which we, we try we try and train uh, intensively uh, uh accordingly to uh, uh match play sort of like so um and, and also at um barking football club we train there on a thursday night as well so listen we're a football inside so 3g 4g whatever it is all day long you know for us it's compared to saturday's pitch where it was quite bumpy um it's you know it's it's some you know we're going to try and play the football that we're we're currently used to on that on that particular pitch and i think it will suit us in many ways so i mean do, do different uh, 3g pitches play differently George, I mean, you know, is, you know, maybe the, the, the Chesson one that you actually sort of uh, train on compared to the one at Ware. I mean, does, you know, it, it do different 3Gs play play differently or are they, you know, roughly the same? I, I think it, uh, if I remember Ware's uh, particular stadium, uh, it's not much different from uh, Chesson, I suppose, uh, on the Astro turf. So, it, it, I mean, the ball bounce doesn't bounce as much as, say, on a 4, 4G pitch. But again, you got to, whatever you got to play on, you got to, you know, at the end of the day, these boys have played on these particular pitches. I mean, back in the day, I played at Market Road, which was uh, 1G, I think it was. It was just like the old... Uh... Uh, the plastic. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so from that, you know, they're a lot lot more uh, reliable as such on, on those. And I understand why these clubs uh, go towards that type of facility because it's it's essential these days isn't it you know to, to get the games on but what what about some of the older the older boys in the team i mean you know do, do you uh, do you find that they 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 dislike it more than the youngsters because of their knees and, and stuff and their ankles well we got quite a young side i mean there's there's only two players that are um um 35 sorry 31 years of age 34 this george who's the captain and an SBU's 31 years of, of age. The rest are, uh, are on the 22, 23 year old. So we've got a quite a young squad, you know, and um, um, the average age is about 24. So it's not, it's not much difference. And, I, and the two boys that uh, we're talking about, um, they do massage, they do acupuncture because we got uh, facilities for that as well. So they, they get a good massage in on a Thursday night or whenever they need it really. So, it's not an issue. No. I said I know because you get some players turn around. So oh, no, I don't want to play on that because of me because of me knees and and all the rest of it. So I was I was just curious whether or not that is the that is the effect because I'm I'm very much a pro man towards the free. Yeah. No, I, I, listen. I think uh, we're playing against where. So for us, it's it's a derby. Really looking forward to it, like we would be if, if we were playing Chesham or or Wolf Mabby. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a local derby. So. These boys, what what I see with with them, um, what's what's that groups and when they're talking on it, they're really looking forward to it. It's like it's it's it's, it's a game in the calendar that you really want to play, you know. And especially if we uh, win, it will be an, an extra bonus for us. You know, they're favourites because they're at home and they they've done pretty well in the last month and a half, haven't they? Uh, I think ever since they lost to us, I think they picked up massively. In their results, and we've seen them play. I've seen personally. I've seen them play a few times. Unlucky against Welling Garden City. Um, they're, they're a strong side, you know. What I mean, and and uh, look, uh, looking at their formations and uh, changes, they've had a few players brought into the club now, uh, doing really, really well and adapted really well. So, uh, to our advantage, I, I would I would say we've got um, a side that's been consistent, and we've got the same players. So. That's the bonus. We haven't really added that much. We had five out missing on Saturday, which um, due to um, illness and injury, but um, we should have a full squad this week on Tuesday. It's going to be a great game. But listen, George, I really appreciate your time. I really do. No problem. And we'll speak again maybe at the end of the week as well, going leading into the game against the Nets at the weekend. But uh, uh, congratulations on the on the result of the weekend. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a humdinger tomorrow night. I think yourselves against Ware, and it's uh, it, it'll, great be, it'll be a great game. It certainly will. Yeah. So, mate, All right, then. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much, Dave. Cheers. Thanks to everyone. Thank you.